Hello and hi everybody, welcome back to another one. Now this time we're doing another one from Timeless Tim. This one is titled, Pick Up the Sub Nico. Oh God. We're already in it for something just from reading the title. <sighs> Anyways guys, um, if you haven't subscribed to Timeless Tim yet, the, the link to the original is in the description down below. Be sure to go subscribe to Timeless Tim if you haven't yet already. So with that being said, <sighs> let's just get into this. Oh shit. You want to Tim's house? Oh shit. In the middle of the night as well. Open the door. What the hell was going on? Open the door now. Wow. That feeling when a, a, a police officer goes to your door, you no. think something's going on. The number all through the hood. Now some places use 999, others use 112, but here in the great land of America, if you have an emergency, you call 911. Now for the phone, 911 is a three-digit telephone number which provides direct access to a public safety entry point which consists of police, fire response, or the medic. Just think about it. You happen to see a bank robber and you as a legal body citizen decide to snitch. What is this conversation? What is this conversation? You call the emergency line as your break? Sure did. Oh no. Kids. And what say stupid boy than prank calling 911? Oh no. Oh no. I haven't heard that term in a long time. Prank calling 911. I remember I've seen a couple of YouTube videos where people, specifically um, young people, like teenagers, maybe even young adults, they prank call 911. And even though those videos are entertaining to watch, it's still not the best thing to do unless you want to get put in jail. I think I remember, I, feel, I, think, I think this happened. I have a feeling this happened. Yeah, I think it did happen. I think when I was in sixth grade, I was in art class and someone called 911 on that phone in the class. Someone called 911. Like I heard about it from other people that someone called 911 in the art class and I think the police came. I don't I don't remember the whole thing cuz this was 6th grade. This was like what, 5 years ago. But I think I remember someone called 911 on a school phone and just a prank called them. Like, I don't remember what happened after that. I don't know if the student got, like, caught or something. But I think I remember something like that ever. Like, something like that happening. I never encountered it, but I just heard about it from other people that someone prank called 911 in the school. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are people really this dumb? And that's where this story begins. So for this story, I'm going to take you back. Back to my preteen years. She was an ugly stormy night. Now at the time, a storm had just caused a blackout in our neighborhood. That's right. Blackout. No TV, no fish. Mmm, that reminds me. You guys remember the snow apocalypse that Texas had to go through, like, what, over two years ago? That was not a good experience at all. I mean, the snow looked cool, but no electricity for almost an entire day. We couldn't charge our phones. Uh, we didn't really have a stable connection, no lights, we can't even cook up some food, we can't do shit for almost an entire day and once the electricity finally came back on, it felt like heaven. Games no internet, can you no. imagine? I know you kids nowadays can't go a minute without that internet. Try three days, my boy. Yep. Yeah. We're in that kind of life. Dude, this is boring and I'm freezing. So I get to my dad, dad. How long until the power comes back? Oh, I don't know, son. But I'm freezing. Well, put on another hoodie. Damn, this sucks. Suck it back yep. to the room. Okay, no TV, no video games. Man, I gotta find something else to do. And then it hit me. Wait a minute. What if I stop prank calling? Oh, See, no. In my day, people still use house phones. Not a good thing about I remember we had a house phone in our own house. Electricity. You plug into the wall, and you're good. So I get to the school phone book and started looking for a person to break. The school book. 
Yeah. Saw so Dal Keisha's number. Keisha. <laughs> Who remembers having a house phone? I do. Uh, daddy. Daddy. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, big daddy. Big daddy. Who the fuck are you talking about? He's your daddy? I don't know no boy named daddy. Come deal with you. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, this is fun. Okay, it's going to cause a fucking... A, it's going to cause a, a domestic assault in that house. Should I call him? I sure do need something for a challenge. Oh, wait a minute. So I got the number. Waited a few more seconds. Oh. Immediately. Oh, a few moments go by, and I call the number once again. Number one emergency. Immediately hung the phone once again. Damn, Tony was savage. <laughs> that is not a good thing to do. He didn't even say anything. He just let them say, 911, what's your emergency? And just hung up. Don't think something fishy is going on with uh, that number or line that called. Okay, this is the last time I'm going to tell you guys a story. Um, I remember, like, two and a half almost three years ago um my phone my phone was in my pocket and it accidentally called 911 it called 911 you know how you hold down the power button or something you hold two buttons it showcase you it showcase that you can swipe to call emergency services when needed for some reason when i had my phone in my pocket um i guess it was pushing down on the power button and for some reason, it decided to swipe on the, the emergency thing, emergency SOS, whatever the hell it's called. And it called 911. Emergency service, it called, like, I remember I heard my phone go, it's, it, 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 it like, it did like this, like, loud ass siren. When you call 911, it did like this loud ass siren. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And I checked my pocket and my phone was, it said 911 on it. And I got so scared, I hung up. And I remember I got a message right after that saying, um, you called 911, please identify your emergency or whatever the fuck is going on. I don't remember this was almost three years ago. And I told my dad about it. I was like, I was like, my phone called 911. What the hell? And he called, I think he called it saying like, it was, it was a, it was a mistake. Um, like this was, this was a mistake. Okay. Nothing happened. <laughs> and my uncle told me that, um, if you call 911 and you don't say anything, the police can come to your house. And I don't think the police ever came to our house. I guess since my dad talked it out with them, like, I guess we're good. But I got so fucking scared. Like, I thought, like, my phone was going to get my ass in trouble. <laughs> so, okay, that's the last time I'll tell you this story. What about, and then my phone starts ringing. So I pick it up. Hello? Mm, is that 911? <sighs> I never call 911 services. Never. I don't even know how it would really work. Yeah, like that's what my phone did. Like it sent a message saying, You called 911 emergency services. Um, is everything okay? What's your emergency? Or stuff along the lines of that. And I was like, Oh shit. I got so fucking scared that I had to tell my dad before I don't say anything and the police come to our house saying stuff like uh someone died on 911 and it led to this address sir are you there <laughs> can you stay here oh oh my the phone rings oh again. that's it ain't a joke so I did what most people would do ignore the hell out of it thinking everything's cool what go wrong Oh, a lot can go wrong. A lot can go wrong from that. <laughs> Calling 911 is not a joke. It ain't not a joke at all. Mm. Just hearing those sirens scare me enough. I never want to deal with the police ever. That's why I'm always trying to be a good kid. Mm. Hello, officer. Can I help you? We received the 911 call from this home. Are you sure? Well, we didn't wait a minute. Mm. Damn. Oh! He, phone didn't work in the house he immediately he knew. My room. So he talks to the police all oh, while your boy was chilling. Just peacefully sleepy. Everything's fine. Sir, call the 911. A few moments later, Tim, get up. What is it, Dad? The police are here for you. For me? Why? Why'd you call 911? But Dad, I wasn't. Get up. So I get up, get outside, and see the policeman waiting for me. 
you are under arrest. Oh. If anything you say or do will be oh, shit. the law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be assigned to you. <laughs> what is going on? Help me. God. Daddy. Sorry, sir. There's nothing I can do. Now, um, but shit. See, if there's one thing that all men fear, it's going to jail. Even worse, Robert Dan so <clears throat> Oh, have mercy. Please, officer, please forgive me. I don't want to go to jail. I like my booty tight. I'm about to get my salad talk. Oh, oh. oh. No. Now, uh, man, he can't lie, God, bitch. Okay, Tim, um, you gotta get ready to go to jail. Okay, I need a shank first. Get a shank and stab with it. Let's see like what life in jail. Okay. This he said this is So you learned your lesson? <laughs> Why see the whole time my dad in the car playing to teach your boy a lesson about pranking me. Oh I taste of my own medicine. Ain't this a bit? You mean I'm free? Did you learn your lesson? Oh you serious? I'm free? Oh <laughs> Wow. Yes, Dad, I promise to never call 911 again. Now apologize to the police officer. So I apologize to the officer. The man lets me loose. I sprint to my bed and thank God for killing me. Wow. So, oh, oh damn. damn. Some lessons can't be taught. They simply have to be learned. Mm-hmm. If you haven't subscribed. All right. Come on, my God. I'll be grinding. This week's video was all about the best lessons I learned through experience. So do yourself a favor and learn from your boy brother and go on through it yourself. Next big dropping is. Oh shit. We get a sneak peek of the next video. High school. Smoking weed in high school? I'm just assuming that it is. You know. If you know, you know. I feel like I have an here, idea. Wait. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else to do. So yeah, anything you watch from Timeless Sim, it doesn't matter what it can be. Just learn it as a lesson, okay? Especially this one. Do not prank call 911 because bad shit can happen. Tim was lucky enough to not go to jail because he he was just a kid. He said it was it was it was his preteen years. Holy shit. Yeah, prank calling 911 is not a fucking joke. It ain't a joke at all. They will not take it as a joke. Like, use, like using the term, it's just a joke nowadays, it, nobody's going to let that slide. Nobody's going to let that slide. Most people won't let that slide, especially emergency services. They don't take anything as a joke. So learn these lessons hard, guys. Learn these lessons hard. Because some of these lessons can... can how do I say this? Like some of these lessons that you learn will help you be a better person in life. So yeah, just don't prank call anyone and especially don't prank call 911 unless you wanna get thrown in jail, then do you. So with that being said, if you enjoy this, be sure to give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so right now and turn on notifications to be notified for any video that I upload and I'll catch you guys later in the next one, whenever I start doing that. So hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you guys later. So take care.